This is a 2018 Xmark Turf Tracer S series. It's one of Xmark's walk behind mowers that features the 18 and a half horsepower Kawasaki FS600 engine. And we put high lift blades on it, which you can get at a power equipment store for around 10 to $12 each. This particular model has three of those, which means that you can pick a set of these up for anywhere between $30 and $40. This mower is a hydrostatic model, which means that it uses fluid rather than belts to transfer power from the engine to the wheels. The S-Series is Xmark's middle tier mower, which means that it is not the greatest and it is not the worst. It's still a commercial mower and the construction on it is... Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, I was talking about this particular mower that we've had since 2019. It was an upgrade from our previous walk behind mower, which was a 2002 Xmark. It was a great mower for what we needed it to do. We actually purchased it on Craigslist for $1,200 from a firefighter who mows, and it was a workhorse. We purchased it without a Velky, and it actually came with a leaf removal system, which actually mounted on the side of the mower with its own engine. It worked okay, it was not great, but anyway, we're talking about this mower today. It has the enhanced control system, which is just a fancy way to put it into gear. Um, it, a lot really hasn't changed on this mower versus previous or newer models. This particular mower has been great for the types of yards that, that we mow. With the 48 inch deck, um, you can get it in the most yards, although on some chain link fences we would have to break out the push mower because we couldn't fit it you know, in the backyard. But for the most part, it usually fits. That's why we didn't get the 52 inch model but you can get, I believe, a 36 inch or a 42 inch. It's a little bit smaller, um, same design. This FS600 Kawasaki is the, supposed to be the engine that everybody wants. I know that Xmark put Kohler on a few of their years and we actually have a zero turn with the Kohler on it. It was actually one of the only years they put Kohler engines on it, I believe it was 2015. And it was a good, it's been a good engine, um, but we'd still rather have the Kawasaki that 2002 X mark we had had the Kawasaki on it and it was absolutely excellent. Um, this mower does well, but given that it is the middle series, I, it with the 18 and a half horsepower, it means less revolutions regarding the blades than the X series, which is the um, top commercial series. And it can get frustrating depending on the kind of um, yard that you're mowing. You have to slow down and I have to double cut a lot. It's quite frustrating when you have a yard that really isn't that tall but has crabgrass and wire weeds in it. You have to mow over it two, sometimes three times. In good healthy grass, you can pretty much go full blast and it will knock it down and make it look clean. I know that everybody obsesses about um, the stripe, striping capabilities. What kind of stripes is it put down? And that's really just gonna depend on the height and quality of the grass that you're mowing. You can get striping kits. I know some people have made their own. They'll fill a PVC pipe with concrete and attach it to the back of the mower and that's supposed to lay it down. They've also used um, flaps of like rubber material and this actually comes with that. And once again, depending on the yard you're mowing, it can, it can lay down some really pretty stripes. We actually have um, two attachments on this particular mower. We have a Selbro Incorporated Velky that attaches with a cottering pen to fasten it up. We also have a grass flat. Our power equipment store installed that for us. There's a little foot lever at the back of the mower that you quickly tap to flap it up and flap it down. And when, it, when we first put it on, it did really well. I don't know if it needs to be either adjusted or tightened, but now that it's been a few months with the grass flap on, it does leave a trail of grass when the deck blows it out and it's kind of looks sloppy. Um, it's worse in extremely wet and extremely dry grass for some reason. That's what I've noticed. But this mower has a, I believe it's a three and a half gallon tank and it 
lasts a while. It's pretty, pretty efficient. It has the electronic start. It has the manual parking brake. And it's a great mower. We have just over 410 hours on this model. And it's the one, I mean, it's, you could only have one mower. I really would pick this one. The only thing I would change is obviously to get the better, bigger, more expensive X-Series.